Hi girls, hope everyone's doing okay. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I've been joining seeing your lovely faces to the zoo map, but in today's video, I have a new trick. I'm going to show you how to use toilet paper rolls to create some art. So let's get started. What we need is some toilet paper rolls. I cut this one in half so I can have more. Some white piece of paper, scissors, a paintbrush, and of course some paint. I believe these are finger paints, but I'll see if it still works. And you can always, if you have a lot of paint, you can dump it in a bowl or in a plate and then you can grab it from there. But since I don't have enough, I would use the brush and then just paint over it and I'll show you how. Okay, so all you would need to do first is cut the toilet paper roll in small strips. Don't cut it all the way through, just around halfway. Go all the way around and you can do different sizes of strips so you can have a different type of flower. And you're just going to keep cutting around, make it all the way through. And then, let's see. After you're done, you're going to open it up. You might want to fold it a little bit and open it up. And there you go. So for this second one, I am cutting the toilet paper roll in triangles. So I'm going to cut it in triangles all the way around and make sure to take off the excess piece off. That's my second triangle. Going around, doing my third one. The last piece wouldn't come off. So there you go and my final triangle for this one i did four triangles but try to get five so it can be a pretty flower but there it is and like the other one we're gonna fold it so we can open it up when went ahead and cut three shapes i did this one this semi-rounded one and this triangle one if you haven't guessed from the toilet paper rolls we're gonna create some flowers so we're gonna use this to create some flowers but first let's draw the stem some green paint and I went, ahead, I went ahead and drew some stems um if you if you notice it has some words in the back but that's because I'm using recycled paper so just ignore that okay so now let's move on to painting the flower I'm gonna paint each petal Make it all the way around. I chose the color red because I feel like that's a vibrant color and I want that to be in the center of my art. And since I noticed that I didn't put enough, so I'm going around a second time to get all the blank spaces that are there. Make it through again. Make sure to get every spot or try to get every spot. And there it is. So now we're gonna stamp it on top. Make sure to press on a bit to press on it a little bit. And okay, that didn't go six factors, so we're gonna try one more time. Okay, there you go. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, for the second one, we're gonna use the color yellow. So we're gonna stamp it, flip it around a little bit to get a rounder version of it third time and there you go and now for the third one i used the color blue for the for the triangles i feel like i used it because i used a different paint it worked better but still it get it gave the same the same effect afterwards so we're going to turn it around to get a more rounder version of it again so this is small triangles on the side to close it up and there you go three flowers so now i'm gonna use some orange paint to add some smiley faces to my flowers 
And there you go, girls. This is an easy project you can do at home or we can try it at CAP when we come back.